Hey there, sweeties. Jessie here, and welcome back to Let's Get Jazzy. So it has been a couple of weeks. I am so sorry about that. School kind of took over, and I just, it was something, it was unavoidable. But I am getting back into it, and I'm going to start pre-recording more, and hopefully getting videos out before 10 o'clock. Because I pretty much left school, came home, and started recording. Uh, it's School takes up most of my day. So, but I'm going to try and get things done earlier uh, before I get into my fat video, which I'm going to talk about, because you know, we haven't ranted in a while, and I know you guys miss it. This is my new boyfriend. His name's Connor, and he is my new guitar. Isn't he handsome? Oh, he's so beautiful, and he feels so sleek. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't play with Janie anymore because the strings were just too difficult for me. And um, But I still have her, and I hope to play her again someday. And this is actually her husband, so we're keeping it all in the family. But yes, okay, so um, question for you guys. My mom thinks that I need to stop recording with my glasses. I personally am super self-conscious with my glasses without my glasses on. But uh, you guys could leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys like. If you guys like my glasses on or my glasses off. I can go both ways. I I like my glasses. But if you guys prefer the other way, I can try and do that. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to shut up now. Alright guys, so now we are going to jump in to what exactly I am talking about in this video. But first, I'm going to give you the definition of fat in the dictionary. The definition is a person or animal having a large amount of excess flesh. That's what it means. And now we get into the big hypothetical questions and I got lots of them for you guys. When did that become a bad thing? When did having a little extra meat on your bones become a bad thing? Because let me tell you, since the beginning of time, no two people have ever looked the same. There's not always been skinnier people. There hasn't always been bigger people. The thing about being human is it's universal. We look however we are supposed to look. We want to be... Sometimes our, our foundations are a little bit bigger. Sometimes our foundations are a little bit smaller. That doesn't mean one is better over the other. And I don't want to get too in-depth with this without telling you guys that I have nothing against skinnier people. Just because I'm a bigger girl, I think that the body hate is stupid. I think I have no fucking right to tell this chick that she needs to get bigger. And, I have, and she has no right to tell my fat ass I need to get smaller. Or not eat that slice of cake that I want to eat. I, we just, we as a society should not have to feel like that. And we shouldn't have to judge other people like that. It's just sad. And now we get into the reasons why I'm talking about this video. I've been reflecting a lot on my past. And I realized that this is something I would have loved to hear when I was smaller. And let me tell you, about 6th grade to 8th grade... I grew a little bit differently than the girls around my school. I grew like this. And sometimes the fat didn't know exactly where to position itself. And sometimes it would be here. Sometimes it would be here. Sometimes it would be all over the place. And sometimes it gave me some very unflattering angles. But that's the thing about being a middle schooler. We are all moving into our bodies. We are all growing into them. We are not always going to look like that. And let me tell you, those little bullies... And if you're a bully, or if you're one of my former bullies, or if you're a bully right now, think about it. You're in middle school. You do realize your weirdness and your awkwardness and your lankiness is just as weird as ours is. And I could tell you that because guys get hair, guys and people get hair in places, and they grow up very awkwardly. And I can say that there are some guys that were awkward, and you think, oh no, they're never gonna have a girlfriend, they're never gonna have a boyfriend, whatever. And then they grow into high school, and you're like, dang, when did that happen? And it's the same with girls. Middle school is not how you're always going to look, so you shouldn't be hard on yourself just because of that. I wish I knew that when I was younger. I didn't. I just saw a guy who said I had th thunder thighs and said I was a disgusting pig and said that I had whale blubber 
for legs and who would follow me down the hallway making boom noises and screaming that I was an earthquake. Oh yeah, it happened. It happened on the daily. So how do you react to something like that? Do you cuss them out and say you have a small penis or you have a very small intellect? Or get all psychological on them and be like, who hurt you to make you feel that way about yourself? Who hurts you to make you treat other people the way you do? No. Do you tell a teacher? Do you just keep it to yourself? I chose option three. Because one... Nobody wants to be a narc. Because if you don't aren't liked for who you are, you're definitely not going to be liked if you're a narc. Three, you go home and you internalize it and you torture yourself every day. And then you wake up one day and you decide, I'm going to make myself sick and I'm going to be bulimic and I am going to starve myself and I'm going to do all this stuff because I don't like how I look and I, and people don't like how I look. So if I change myself, automatically people are going to like me. It's that instant gratification we're looking for, and it's sad. And that's a real problem with people. And the thing about it is, if somebody is happy with themselves, they're happy with themselves, and they're great, and they're beautiful. If they're unhappy with themselves, they try and change it. Sometimes you can't change it. Sometimes your body is just bigger. Sometimes your body's just skinnier. That's not a bad thing. And just and I have to ask these I have to ask these bullies something. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to tell me not to have that piece of cake? Who the fuck are you to say I'm gonna wake up one day and be single and by myself? Fuck you and fuck that horse you rode in on. I feel like people have a choice. You decide what you wanna do. You decide how you wanna feel about yourself. But we shouldn't have our feelings be changed because of something somebody's saying. That's not fair. It's not fair. And it's just, if you don't have anything to say, don't say it at all. It's really simple. Just don't say it. If you want to get with me, because apparently people have heard that if you're insulted, people want to get with you. And trust me, there was a boy in middle school who said he liked me, but uh, he liked me a lot. But he could never like me in front of his friends. And stupid me waited three years for him to come to a census. Never did. Never did at all. But, yeah, it's just, it's sad. And I I know, like I said, skinny girls are awesome. Big girls are awesome. Whatever the fuck you are, you're amazing. And you're stunning. And don't let somebody else make you think differently about it. And getting back to bigger girls, because that's the premise of this video. I've seen bigger girls be on point in ballet. I've seen bigger girls do yoga better than some skinnier girls I've seen. I've seen them belly dance in amazing ways, because their body can do amazing things. And that's something you, you train yourself to do that. You train yourself to be on point. You train yourself to be a good dancer. You want to do something, you learn it. And don't let the fact that you look a certain way or weigh a certain amount of pounds affect what you want to do. I've seen girls, like, do those little, like, their, those handstands where their feet are above their heads. I don't know how people do that. It's crazy. But I can't do it. And it's just, it's amazing. Us as human beings are beautiful. And I feel like I've said us as human beings are beautiful, but... I wish I heard this when I was younger. So if I sound repetitive, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to tell you guys and show you guys exactly what it's about. Because that's what it is. We're amazing. And we're human, you know? And I have all of these lists of things I'm talking about, but this is about the end of it. So I'm going to say one more thing. For those girls who need a little insult to get back at some of the boys at being stupid, now, nobody has to say this. It worked for me, though. It felt real good. So, this is what it said. Next time you get called thunder thighs. Oh, yeah, the lovely thunder thighs word. This is how you can reply. Let me get ready for this. You're damn right I have.
have thunder between these thighs. And then you wink, and then you walk away, and you fucking drop the mic. Walk away. That's how you do it. I did it once, and it was great. But, um, it was much later in my life. Not in sixth grade. So, to end this, I'm just gonna say, like, and I feel like I've re- I'm a broken record, but I'm just gonna say this. You want to eat that last piece of cake? You want to have some ice cream? You want to have steak with all the trimmings? You want to diet? You want to lose weight? You want to exercise? You want to change your body? You want to keep your body? Do it! Do whatever the fuck you want. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Because that's disgusting. And people have no right to your body. You want to get tattoos? Get tattoos. Do all the things you want to do. You know? More people need to hear that. So, now I'm done talking. I have comic books coming on Wednesday. And then Friday I have a bonus video. It's an old video, but it comes with the whole woman empowerment thing. And, well, not just woman empowerment, just people empowerment. And just being happier. And hopefully you guys like it. I did a long time ago, and it still resonates with me now. And it's been a out a year I could say maybe less than a year so that's it I'm done thank you for listening to my rants but unfortunately that is all for this video but we will always have the next one smell you later